Hello guys, so today we will quickly learn how we can create a navigation drawer in our Android app and we'll be using the default navigation drawer that Android Studio provides for us. So we'll go through what different components are in that navigation drawer. So first of all, we can do a uh, file new, new project. And in this new project, we just select navigation drawer activity. Now this is pretty cool these days now, they already they make uh, fragments and view controller for that fragment, uh, I mean view model for that fragment, so this is pretty cool. Now once you click finish, this will take some time to load the project. Okay, so now once the loading is complete, we can see so many things, we can see different layouts here, we can see a UI, gallery home slideshow, and we can see main activity here. This might seem a little too much for you at the moment, but let me just close all these, right? Let's just open main activity and let's just run this and see what it is and then we can go into what these things are, all right? So don't be over overwhelmed by this, this uh, so many files. This is pretty simple. Okay, let's run it and you'll see something like this. It's pretty cool. We already have a fab button here. We have this options button here. We have this hamburger icon here. Now. Our navigation drawer is already done. So if we pull from the side here, we'll get this, right? This is gallery fragment and stuff. And if you click here, then also we'll get this navigation drawer. This is what we want, pretty cool. Now let's go over the code, right? Now this, uh, let's just start from this main activity. Okay, now if we go here, we can see our uh, root layout is a drawer layout. Now if you don't have to start from the beginning, and you have to create this in a new activity or a new uh, layer activity for this. Just set this draw layer at the ba at the base, and then we have our include layout, which is including this app bar main, and then we have our navigation view. Now this view is this drawer view. What you have here is what will be visible in this drawer, right? So we have a drawer layout. We have and include for the main uh, components or main content that will be in the uh, main thing visible here. And then we have our navigation view, which is this view, right? Now, if we go in here uh, inside this app bar main, now this is the main content that will be visible, right? As you can see here, we have a coordinator layout that is required for this fab icon. And we have a toolbar. This toolbar is this thing. We have an app bar layout, right? We need this app bar layout because this toolbar needs to be in this app bar layout. So this, all this thing is for this layout. Now you can pause and do this thing with your own project. And then we have this content. This content is this main white part. This content is there. And then we have a floating action button, right? So this content main is simply just one fragment right, in a constraint layout. So this is our main thing. And then we have included our app bar main, right? App bar main. If we go in this app bar main, we see this app bar main is nothing but this toolbar, right? This toolbar and this content. This is including this content. This is the content main, this content. Okay, so app bar main includes, sorry, activity main includes this app bar main this app bar main includes this content main, all right? App bar main includes this content main. Now we can remove all this, we can copy this, and we can just paste it here. It'll be the same thing, but kind of the same thing. Instead of uh, this, instead of constraint layout, we are in this coordinator layout here. So it'll, if we can do that also with some tweaks, but to make our code look cleaner, we are using this include layout so that we are clear with our hierarchy also. This is the main thing. And then we have included a app bar main. And in app bar main, we have our content. All right, that holds the fragment. Now, if we are clear with this, okay. So we are clear with these three things. Now we will talk about this later. Now, if you go to our main activity, here we can see uh, we have set content view to activity main, you know what it is, and we have a toolbar. We get this toolbar from our 
apartment this toolbar we are refreshing this toolbar right because we want our hamburger icon here we want options menu here right and then we set support action bar to this toolbar because uh, this toolbar is supposed to act as our action bar with uh, the clickable where is it with the clickable the, these things so we have to set support action bar and then we are referencing our fab here Click here you see you see replace with your own action here so we'll not discuss this here <clears throat> we'll not discuss this here we can remove this let's not remove this let's just not discuss this here all right and then we uh, reference our drawer layout right in here we have our drawer layout this is the main drawer layout and then our navigation view okay so this is the view this navigation view is being referenced this is the navigation view all right now now since we are done with our references here is the main code that you need to understand now this is being written here passing passing each menu id as a set of ids because uh, each menu should be considered as a top level destination now what does this mean what is this m app bar configuration right so now if you can see here we have a hamburger icon here if you click here we have this home we can go to home from here this is home fragment so if you go to slideshow now we can see this hamburger icon is visible so this hamburger icon is visible only where it is our top destinations right so we want all of our uh, we want home gallery and slideshow to be top level destinations that's why we include it here so that uh, our navigation that icon hamburger icon is visible in all the fragments now if we remove this right and build it again and run it again you'll see what happens okay so now is this uh, since this is done now if you go to any of the other fragment gallery this is not treated as a top level destination so you don't get to press hamburger icon to open the menu again this is a secondary level destination so you have to just go back here right and then if you again if you go to slideshow you'll see this just this back arrow and not the hamburger icon because this is not a top level destination so since we want this to be our top level destination all the fragments we add our menu items here which are considered our top level destinations right so that we can access this hamburger from all those fragments all right so now we are done with our app bar configuration now what is this controller we need this controller because this controller actually controls what happens when we click these things so this controller is actually required so because this controller controls what happens when we click these things all right now we have set up action bar with nav controller now what does this do now if we have this this means that this is setting up our navigation drawer with our action bar this action bar that means we have this thing visible here if we don't do this then we will have we will not have that back arrow this back arrow or this hamburger icon right so this is required to integrate our navigation view this navigation view with our action bar otherwise you'll have to just swipe to open like this and this will not be clickable there will be no icon to click all right and finally we want our setup with nav controller we want our navigation view this view to be set up with our controller otherwise these clicks right this is working at the moment clicking at get slideshow takes us to slideshow now if we don't do this uh, setup with navigation controller that clicks will not work all right so yeah that is pretty much it now in here we have on support navigate up that means uh, this when we go to our secondary destinations this arrow is visible and clicking it takes back to our home uh, previous destination so this is that thing and we need this on create options menu as we can go back to see 
what the, what this does it influences the menu and then this adds item to the action bar if it is present now if you go to main here you can see this is just settings so we only have as our menu we have our action settings so if you click here you can see settings so this options menu in this on create options menu we can inflate our inflate our menu that will be visible once we click this three dots all right so i think we have gone over all these things so this is pretty clear now let's go to what these things are and this is pretty cool now if you are new you'll be confused with so many things you might not have learned about these uh, view models and views now so this is part of our uh, new architecture that we have mvvm that is model view view model and that helps to keep our code clean so I'll just go over a little and you can just play with it because doing and learning is a lot more better than just, you know, trying to learn. So you, if you, Android Studio provides you with this default thing. So you can play around with this. What happens with this? You can see with this. So uh, I'll just go over one, this, one of these things. Now, first, let's just go to fragment. Now in this fragment on create view, we can see we are just uh, getting a reference to this view model, right? this view model uh, will go what 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 this is just a few seconds later we are influ we are, we are influ inflating this gallery fragment right this is nothing just this is just a plain thing with a text view this text view as you can see is, this is showing this is home fragment and if you go to gallery this is showing this is gallery fragment so this is the, that text view right so now we are inflating that and we are getting the reference to our text view and then from our ga uh, gallery view model, we are calling this method get text, and we are observing. And after observing, we are setting text set text view to uh, set text of whatever we are getting here, whatever string we are getting. So this is definitely a little confusing to you. What is this view model, and why we are doing all this? Let me just explain this a little bit. You can uh, research about this more later so if you go to our view model right now in essence our fragment is just this ui now all the data getting fetching from the database or the network all the data processing will is done in this view model part right so now as we see this get text method this get text method is returning m text right and the data type is live data so if this is returning live data, we can do this observe thing. This observe is just listening. When do we get our data? When we will I get our data? When we will get our data? So if this is from a network, it will take, take a few seconds. But right now we are just returning M text. So this M text is, this is mutable live data and the value is, this is gallery fragment, right? So this get text returns M text so we are uh, we call this get text and then we observe right sorry and then we are observing and once we get our thing that is returned from our get text method we get this string right because the value is a string this is gallery fragment now here we get the value and we can directly set that value to our text view here, right? We are getting, this is a gallery fragment in here. In on change, we're getting this is a gallery fragment and we are setting that this is a gallery fragment to our text view, hence this is visible. Similarly, we have different view model and fragments for our slideshow and home fragment and all of these are doing the same thing. So this is, this is it guys, uh, this is very simple to make a navigation drawer. Now we have gone through what these are important things, right? And then what is this? And we have gotten through what is this? So that is our navigation drawer. All right, if you have any queries, let me know. I'll try to help you to the best of my abilities. Peace out, see you next time.